Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Andrew from 3DDC, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a project that I've been working on for a few weeks. This is what I'm calling my bike project. But before we actually look at the physical components, we're going to look at the initial concept I came up with before I began the project. So the first step in any project is to come up with an idea. So that's what I did here, and I wrote it down on paper. So basically, I wanted something that would attach to my bike and be able to tell me various information through a screen. So I decided to get an Arduino, and I figured I would hook up various sensors to it. So for example, a reed switch speedometer, which I'll explain about later, a triple axis magnetometer, and a temperature sensor. So that would all go to the Arduino. The Arduino would read information being sent from those sensors. It would then output those to an LCD. So when I'm riding my bike, I can see what my speed is, what my direction is, and how hot it is outside. I plan on adding more sensors in the future, but for now, I think I'll just stick with those three. Okay, so the first sensor I started working on was the speedometer. So what I did was I headed over to instructables.com, and I found an instructable by a person named Amanda Gacy. And it used a reed switch, also known as a magnetic switch, attached to the frame of your bike, and a magnet attached to the spokes of your bike. Every time the magnet passes by the reed switch, it's going to close it. So if you have that hooked up to a very simple circuit, and then to an input digital input pin on the Arduino, the Arduino will be able to tell when that switch is closed. And what it does is it can count that and it can time that and then it uses the circumference of your tire and the code to calculate miles per hour. So here you can see the speedometer working. In the top left corner it says 0, 0.00 miles per hour. So these two alligator clips will be attached to the leads of the reed switch on my bike. So if I hit them together, that will represent the reed switch closing, meaning the tire made one rotation. And you can see there, it's timing that to get revolutions per second, and then taking the circumference of your tire and calculating that miles per hour. So you can see Right now, if this was connected to the tire, I'd be going extremely fast at 16.36 miles per hour. Pretty cool. Okay, so the next sensor I started working on was the temperature sensor. For that, I opted to use the TMP36 analog temperature sensor that I bought from Adafruit Industries. It's that little transistor looking thing in the corner. To be completely honest with you, I'm not very happy with it. It could be my code, but I think I would have been better off with the thermistor. Because you can see the temperature is changing pretty sporadically, and it's definitely not 102 degrees Fahrenheit in here. It's pretty hot, but it's not that hot. But I'll still go ahead and explain how it works. Basically, you have three leads, just like a transistor does. You have a power, a ground, and then you have an analog voltage out. So if I hook that analog voltage out to an analog input pin on the Arduino, it'll give me a value between 1 and 1024. I can convert that, with that value to a voltage using a sketch I wrote, and then I can convert that voltage to a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. But like I said, I'm not too happy with that. It could be my code. So I'll take another look at it, but I think I would have been better off using a thermistor like I had originally planned. The next sensor I started working on was the magnetometer, also called a compass. So for that, I again went to Adafruit Industries and I bought the HMC583L magnetometer. It's a triple axis magnetometer, also known as a compass. And what that does is if you use their example sketch, it communicates with the Arduino via I squared C, and you can use their example sketch to get a heading on your serial monitor. So I modified that to output to my LCD. 
And then I wasn't too happy with just getting your degrees on the LCD. So like when I'm riding a bike, I don't need an exact heading. I just want to know I'm going north, south, east, or west. So I'll put a few if statements in there. And you can see now I'm pointed west with an H on the end. I have no idea why the H is on the end. That's something with LCD I'll have to work out later. But you see now I'm going west and then north, east, south, and west again. So as you can tell, this is definitely just a prototype. It still has a lot of bugs to be worked out. But everything has to start out as a prototype, and I think I've made a lot of progress in a short amount of time with this project. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to 3DDC. Thanks.